Hello friends, a warm greetings and welcome to my YouTube channel. First of all, I thank you for taking your valuable time and interest in this laboratory-based demonstration video. In this video, I'll show you the steps involved during the laboratory estimation of one of the very important soil physical properties called water holding capacity. Water holding capacity is estimated by adopting the method called Keen box method. For your convenience and information, the content of this video is, first we will briefly see what is water holding capacity. Next, we will see the list of material and instruments required for water holding capacity estimation. Then I'll demonstrate you the stepwise procedures involved for water holding est capacity estimation. And lastly, I'll show you the hands-on calculation of the water holding capacity using Microsoft Excel. So to begin with, as the name suggested, water holding capacity is referred to the, the maximum amount of water a saturated soil can held. And the formula used for water holding capacity percentage calculation is H is equal to W3 minus W2 divided by W2 minus W1. Where W1 indicates the weight of the kin box plus filter paper. W2 stands for the weight of the kin box plus filter paper plus the soil samples. And W3 stands for the weight of the kin box plus the wet soil. So next, we will see the list of the requirements need for water holding capacity estimation. And they are, first, you will need a soil samples. The composite soil samples collected from the field or the area of interest are air dried or oven dried. A Wattman filter paper number 22, a sieve which is of 0 0.5 mm, a kin box, a petri dish, and a weighing machine. Next, the procedure. For estimation of water holding capacity percentage, soil sample must be passed through a 0.5 mm sieve. Then the sieve soil samples is then filled in the keen box. But first, let us see how a keen box looks like. It is a circular box with a perforated bottom and it has a ring inside whose purpose is to hold the filter paper. Next step is place the appropriate size filter paper into the kin box. So for that, first let's take a Wattman filter paper number 42 and cut it into the appropriate size as of the kin box. And then place the filter paper in the keen box to cover the, the whole perforated bottom of the box. Now, once this is done, with the help of a weighing machine, Record the weight of the box and the filter paper. And let the code be given as W1. After weighing these, let's assume that these are the weight of the keen box and filter paper. Next is transfer the sieve 
soil samples into the king box and fill it with the sieve soil. And then again, record the weight of the keen box plus the filter paper plus the soil. Let the weight of the keen box, filter paper and the dry soil as displayed on the screen. Next. Take the petri dish and select the one having a maximum height and fill them with water. Now place the keen box filled with soil into the petri dish filled with water. After this, tilt the keen box several times and then leave it overnight. Next day, check the soil sample in the kin box and you will find that the soil is wet. Next, remove the kin box from the petri dish. Then, wipe the kin box with dry and clean cloth at least two to three times before weighing. And finally, record the weight of the wet soil inside the kin box and let the recorded weight be coded as W3. And let the hypothetical value of W3 be as displayed on the screen. Now, after this, the last thing left is calculation of the water holding capacity using Microsoft Excel. The recorded values are inserted in the Microsoft Excel in this format. And the W1, W2, and W3 values for replicate 1, replicate 2, and replicate 3 are inserted here. So if you remember, the formula for water holding capacity is W3 minus W2 and W2 is minus W1. So W3 is the keen box plus the filter paper plus the wet soil. And W2 is the keen box filter paper and dry soil. And W1 is the keen box plus the filter paper. All right. So now we'll do the calculation parts next. So once we have this value, now, what we have to do is just have to do is W2 minus W1, W2 minus W1, W3 minus W2, W3 minus W2. Okay, so we have got this value here. Now, we just have to do the calculation for it. So, W2 is 96.09 for replicate A minus W1, which is 30.58. And the key. So this is the value obtained. You just drag it for replicate 2 and 3. And next is W3. W3 is just put equal sign. W3 is 117.21 minus W2 is 96.09. Enter. So you've got the value is 21.12. So drag it and this is the value. So now we'll find the water holding capacity percentage of the different replicates for soil sample A. Just put equal sign W. The numerator is W3 minus W2. W3 minus W2, the value is 21.12 divided by W2 minus W1. So W2 minus W1 is this value, right? In 200, because we are finding the percentage equals. So this is the value for water holding capacity for replicate one for the soil sample hypothetical soil sample analyze. So water holding capacity for soil sample A replicate one is 32.23. And for replicate two and replicate three, it will be for demonstration purposes. So these are the three replicate value for soil sample A. 
So now we have to find the mean value. So go to auto sums, average, So now the water holding capacity for soil sample, that is soil sample A, is, is 31.85%. Okay. So in the same method, similarly, same process can be applied for the rest of the samples analyzed in your study. So if we have 10 samples, 20 samples, 5 samples, whatever the number of samples may be. So just repeat the same process, making sure that you have three replicates for each samples and then whatever the values obtained for all the three replicates you will take the average values and that average values will represent the water holding capacity per stage of the soil sample analyze and the reference that i use here is from a scheme mit so with this we have come to an end of this video and i hope students right from undergraduate and postgraduate levels, including some researchers who are working in soil related fields will be benefited. And especially for those who want to uh, recapitulate and to recall these practicals in their study. If, they, if you find these videos helpful, please kindly share, like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. So thank you once again for your love and support. God. Blessed.